Political philosophy, oligarchy to make my swordsmen more powerful. Great stuff. Okay, perfect. I've got a gogi. I'm building more of an army. That's lovely stuff. Uh, I don't need the loyalty at the moment, so I'll get conscription. Oh, that's, I mean, that's terrible. But, I mean, yeah, it's probably the best. Uh, wildcard policy. We've got urban planning. What else do I do? What else do I do? Canavasseries gives me a little bit more gold. Scientist points are totally useless. I'll get some more influence points. Try and keep my grip on Mittler. Oh, Hercules is owned by England. Okay, Leeds. Leeds will flip to me, but there are some swordsmen causing me some problems here uh, for the moment. So we'll just need to make sure my eagle warrior is on the front line and ready to deal with this city. Be a nice little pickup for me, Leeds, actually. Mapuche. Okay, it's a good finding people because as soon as I do, I have options of, of being able to sort of trade stuff with them. Like Cyrus, for instance, is giving me a lot of gold. Um, okay, so there's nothing, nothing really that these guys are going to do. Still purchasing in all the favour I can. This is the thing, you need to manage the game so hard on Deity, especially on maps like this that are just utterly against you. Like, this is the only way we're going to sort of really keep into the game. I mean, nobody's buying favour at the moment, but I do have 152 of it, so we'll save that for later. Iron working. All right, now I do have an option here. I can buy a new swordsman for 215 gold from this barb camp which has just appeared. I, I like that, that's that's a useful deal. How much is it to upgrade a warrior? 110, eagle warrior is only 60. Okay, so the eagle warriors can get upgraded really quickly. Yes, these guys can, you know, are more powerful, but I quite like it that, that these are my units. I can spend the money to do that. That's great, so I've got two swordsmen now. Good stuff. And that's the thing, I'm sort of prioritizing upgrading units that are mine. I've run out of iron now actually, so yeah, you know what? I will buy a swordsman from the barbs. It's not a bad option for me. Let's go. We might, if we can take leads, that'll be great. But now I've got swordsmen. Auckland is more of an option for me here. Okay, Mittler's just taken its units back, but that's good because I can now pick up all of the arches. Or well, bomb. Machinery boosted. Lovely stuff. Okay, we've got a really big army now. I think Auckland, Auckland I'm going to take is my first priority. This is definitely the city to take. Um, I've got my swordsman kind of in and around the area. I'm just going to go to bring that swordsman to Mittler to upgrade it next turn. And we should be able to descend on Auckland. If I can pick this heavy chariot up in the middle of nowhere, that'll be pretty cool. And then I can um, stop the city from being reinforced. I'm still buying all the diplomatic favour, which is lovely. I've now got 175 of that. Um, peace with Basil. Great. Oh, I'm just <laughs> I'm loving this. It's just like, who... Who wants to be at war with me? Oh, shush, Germany. Shush. Not, not, not clearly attacking. I mean, I will, I easily would attack them if I was given the opportunity, but that's not what I'm going for right now. I'm building slingers everywhere, which is good. My army is advancing suspiciously towards Auckland. I've got swordsmen here. Auckland is going to be a fantastic pickup for me. All that population in the center of the map, that'll help me hugely here against Germany. Well, with the Incans for a little bit more gold per turn. Yeah, go on then. I'll do that. Thank you, Byzantium. Yeah, they've got a lot of troops around here, actually, including a lovely settler, which I think I'm just going to quickly pinch with my oligarchy warriors. Oh, great. That's awesome. I was going to put a settler down here, but now I've already got one. So that's wonderful. Mittler is still easily my ally, which means I now have a spare envoy. I think Taruga might be a really good option. I have to build some campuses to really take advantage of that, but that's a 10% boost in my, in my science output, so I'll take that. Um, I'm still getting a bit of a slinger rush in all of my cities at the moment, so I'll just continue to do that. The Grove would be an amazing pickup in this city. Let's just get another slinger. Uh, can I trade um, anything for favor? Okay, people are actually starting to buy favor up now, which is intriguing. So we'll keep an eye out for that. See? There you go. Australia's starting to buy it. There you go. That's Leeds. Leeds is done. Liberate England, get 100 favor, or keep it. I'm going to keep it. Hee 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 hee. Wonderful stuff. Uh, it's an old god obelisk available to me there. You can just see if I sell one horse, hopefully I'll get, yep, seven gold. There we go, which means I can now go to this city and buy a grove. Oh, look at these yields. There are some good frozen yields now. That's fantastic. Okay, um, this city, I think I do want to build a preserve in it, but what we'll do is we'll just get a slinger in there first. Okay, this is good. 
So, I mean, somehow we've managed to pick up four cities from this absolutely terrible start. This grove did get pillaged by a barbarian scout. We're not going to talk about that. That was uh, an oversight on uh, everybody's behalf. And actually, the Night Thunder clan over here is 191 gold for a horseman. That would be pretty handy against the Incans, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Zulu. Okay, is another person to trade with. They have quite a bit of gold per turn, which is good. I can make peace with Gaul again. So we don't like being at war with anybody for longer than we have to be. We are totally two-faced with all of this war. War with Lautaro, though, for the Zulu. That would give me a bit more gold per turn. Uh, and then we can go to the Gaul and hopefully make peace with these guys. Oh, wonderful. Just this beautiful little cycle of war. Here is a settler popping down 16 turns until I lose that city. So Pingala, who's doing very little, is just going to pop over there and keep this city safe for me. Lovely stuff. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, all god obelisks are pretty cool with the four faith per turn. As I say, I'm now it's 20 turns now until I can get the twins again. And how many turns until the next era? Probably less than 20. So I can wait until the next era ticks over, make sure these guys come out well. But in the meantime, the old god obelisk, is it worth doing or do I save money to upgrade units? It's all good, really. It's all good. Yeah, sod it. All right, Auckland. Auckland's going down. I've got one swordsman here. We've got two swordsmen and a battering ram. Uh, yeah, that wall should come down pretty quickly. But we'll just give it a little nibble with a couple of slingers and things. I'll just make sure a slinger is within range of Auckland. So hopefully it gets attacked and not any of my, you know, I don't want to say decent units. But that implies my other units aren't decent. But that's very much the case. This is yeah, the, the, the scale of how bad a start we've had science-wise. But look at this. Uh, no, 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 I'm... Grievances with you, Germany. Look at this. I, I'm not on the first page of text. That's worrying. The Incans have researched eight texts. Um, Pedro's researched 17, so I'm at least 10 behind people at this point. That's a not a good. Never mind. I think Auckland shouldn't be long. Uh, there's the walls down. Okay, cool. We can, we can relax into it a little bit more now. Oh, and this is Jade. Okay, cool. So all my units now have a plus three attack yay so actually that's plus seven on my swordsman now with the oligarchy bonus as well brilliant i think that's auckland done no not quite let's just switch these guys around oh it's gonna be next turn i shouldn't have switched for swordsman that was a mistake but someone's attacking the incans who what's going on here what's going on oh brazil is at war with them still well that's intriguing all right, we'll keep an eye out for that one. That's that's a pretty cool cool situation just to sort of find ourselves stumbling into. Portugal. Portugal should have a bunch of money. How much have they got? 27 gold per turn? That's pretty pretty terrible. Um, let's see if we can make friends. Oh, no, they're not going to be friends with me, are they? Unless I go... No. Sometimes you can just ask them for friendship and they'll go for it, but no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What are you going to give me for this? 14 gold per turn. You know what? They're really good to have met briefly. England as well has been a fantastic provider of iron. They're pretty much supplying the um, upgrade of all of my troops, which is pretty cool. 70 gold for 20 of it, that's, that's brilliant. There we go, Auckland's mine. Yay, the population in this area is a much more stable now. Uh, Germany I'm not at war with currently, but Nuremberg is about to fall. Oh, Nuremberg, sorry, it's about to fall. That's nice. Okay, look, look at this. It's like a little Aztec empire. It's turn 79 and we still have 12 science per turn, but we're ignoring that. <gasps> look, I'm on the board. Okay, nine techs versus 18. I'm only, I'm only nine behind Brazil. That's pretty good. And luckily for me, Brazil have left Cusco just, just there so I can just walk in. It's like, great. Thank you so much. Rebellion in seven turns as well. Um, oh, good. That means actually if I flip Pingala there, I can even keep the city. God, that worked out well. Thank you so much. That's that's really kind of you. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, you gotta take you gotta take the freebies when they're on offer, eh? Woohoo! We've got ourselves a bit of an archer rush now. Fantastic. I haven't done that slinger to archer rush in such a long time. It's nice to actually pull it off again. I love building pointless little cities just because they're mountain passes. I love it. Right, that actually is a fantastic plus four campus for me. I'll do that quickly. It's going to take 40 turns, but when it's done, it'll be worth it. Look, I've crept up two places as well. Oh, the Aztecs. The Thrusen Empire in the south is finally coming good, you know? We're, we're doing good. 
This barb camp is becoming a nuisance now. I'm trying to attack Germany and all it's doing is causing me issues. Ugh. Right, hang on. I think I could... If I, is it worth just... In one turn I can buy another swordsman, so I'll do that. And then it's going to die. Actually, that city's going to convert by itself anyway, so I haven't really got to do much on that front. Is it worth just quickly bringing you back or switching my swordsman? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to just do that quickly and then give you the upgrade. Oh, perfect. Right, good. Right, we're just still advancing on Germany now. This is good. This is good. Why don't all the barbarians die? Actually, there you go. There's a swordsman and then waham. I can uh, kill them next time round. Nice. <laughs> it's a sneaky, sneaky victory. England is lurking around Germany. Are you going to go after Germany? Is that something you're thinking about doing? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it. I love the ambition, but they're kind of my target here. Right, what's going on in this direction? This swordsman is just chilling. You've got a horseman wrapping up that catapult. Oh, not quite. Oh, how much health has that got? Probably one, just to spite me. There's a swordsman. Here's a shot. There's a battering ram. And there's a swordsman as well. Wabamp. I don't think there's anybody else left in the game with enough money to convince me to go to war with anybody. I've literally angered the world at this point, so finding new civilizations is how I'm going to generate my gold. Until then, there's a formal war with Germany. Um, I think we're just going to now go through and just convince people to go to war with them, just so that I, you know, don't take up any more um, of, of sort of, you know, diplomatic penalties than I have to. There you go, that'll do. There you go, three people. Sweden, Australia, England all involved in this war now. That's good. That's good. That's that's positive. Right. I've got an archer force extraordinaire, which should hopefully take out Germany's ground troops. I'm going to do that thing where I just kind of like hover on the, uh, the borders of their territory, just with all of these archers and just fire continually. Um, Cologne will be the first target. Arkan, I need to race in quickly. The, that's nine pop. So that's going to be huge, huge loyalty pressure in that area. One attack to attacks. Oh, the city walls are not dead. That's annoying. All right, Archer, retreat. Die, barbs. Die, die, die. Actually, let's just stop you from moving. Um, do I want to earn 30 gold or raid? I think I'll just destroy it. Lovely. And there's the Sanguine Pact. Oh, damn it. It was still a possibility. Never mind. We went Void Singers. I'm pretty happy with my decision there. Okay, walls are down. That's good. I can move you now across to here. Give you battle cry. Good. Okay, this city should fall pretty quickly. England looks like they've got a pretty decent empire, actually, just across the way. So I need to keep an eye on them. Can't let them have all the fun. Oh, I don't know what it is about Germany, but every single time I've ever gone to war with Germany in the game, like, every single time, they've generated crossbows, like, seconds after I've gone to war with them. I don't know what it is about Germany, but they're just incessant at getting crossbows. Oh, that's, that is frustrating. That really is frustrating okay i think that's that city taken now lovely good there's no pantheons i've got that pantheon bug again oh but that's you know what this is just the stuff i have to put up with to film these giant maps you know this just the eternal endless pantheon bug from which i will never ever escape All right well we know that the city has at least crossbow strength defenses which is pretty strong to be fair but we'll just we're gonna russian style this just bring mass upon mass of units forward and just see if any of them stick okay the archers take 71 and 88 damage from the city walls respectively that's far too much damage i can't actually i can't deal with that right now not with the tech level i've got so i will retreat um feels like a bit of a wimp move i know i appreciate that but can't take Germany on right now. I've got better things I could be doing with my army, like Constantinople is a much better target. So I'm just going to sort of remove, well, just, just sort of jiffy my army around a little bit, see what I can do to get this working. I've got campuses starting to pop up everywhere now. We finally have enough cities to really make a, a good, decent shot of this game. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm feeling positive about where we are. Um, that's the Incans taken out, so we've at least taken the Incans out now. That's five points. How many turns have we got until? Seven turns to get five era score. I'm hoping we should be able to do that. But yeah, I've got tons of campuses about to pop up now, which is just the best news. Yeah, libraries are worth two science per turn. I think I just made peace with Taruga, didn't I? Yeah, great. So Hattusa's the next target for me. That uh, will give me plus five libraries. So I've got this campus is done, this campus is done. I've got one, two, three, four more being 
popped up, the capital will do one as soon as it's done with a uh, growing population, which may take some time, admittedly. Pushi have made peace with, so I think I'm at peace with everyone now, except from Germany, who, yeah, Germany, the, that crossbow play, fair play to them. I can't, I can't deal with that right now. That's too strong. Not until I get um, men at arms. Then I've got 52 strength men at arms when they attack with Oglagaki and my luxury bonuses and then I'll be able to strike so maybe I'll, I'll just kind of lure the crossbows out make sure their military strength stays below 100 and then just go for it a second time afterwards I don't know we'll, we'll see how it goes Brazil is a good target as well like Brazil have only got 210 strength but no walls so they're a fantastic idea to, to go for them as well I've got horseback riding popping up soon I can get some horsemen to attack Constantinople the irony of that does not escape me attacking Byzantium with cavalry Ah, uh, it's like every single playthrough we've ever played with them reversed. Feudalism, done. Perfect. Uh, that crossbow just, again, they're doing that thing exactly as I hoped, leaving themselves open, chasing my units around, and we'll just snipe them all as they come into these defended lands. So that is great. Feudal contract replaces that. I've got maneuver going as well. Again, a lot of these military policies are probably not the best things for me. Urban planning might help a bit more here. Oh, limes, I do need that quickly. Uh, so economic policies are good. Let's go for... Yeah, you know what? Urban planning's good. Fine. Perfect. This is all wonderful. Got another luxury in this city as well. Okay, that's Jade. I already had Jade, but it's still a duplicate, which means I can sell it. Nice. Recorded history has been boosted. 25 science per turn now, because my second campus is finally done. Amazing stuff. Okay, how am I science doing? Oh, I've cracked up one more place! I'm now only 10 techs behind Brazil. I feel like only means that it's not getting worse, but, but I'll take it. I've also now got a thousand faith, so I can get the twins back in, but uh, five turns until the next era, they'll come back a lot stronger. So I'm just holding fire for a couple of, uh, couple of turns, or five turns precisely. Good God, Lisbon has a lot of trade routes. I love you, Lisbon, so much. Portugal are great in this game. They've only got 26 gold per turn though, so they're trading it away with somebody. No idea who. Oh my god, a luxury, a luxury, what would it take? Not wanting to trade that, really? Really? Okay, they are, but for just ridiculous money. Okay, there are luxuries on the map. God, I've had a run of games recently where like people just don't improve their luxuries and it's so frustrating. Rome is going after Mittler. How dare you? I, I would not allow the Roman Legion to sully my city-state ally. That is atrocious. Dear, dear. Right, um, urban planning, that's going to get replaced with natural philosophy. It's only worth three science per turn at the moment. But you just wait. I've got so many campuses on the way. Including this one. This plus two. That's going to be a fantastic place for an Amazon Scott Center later in the game. Oh, ho, ho. imagine that. That's going to be... Brilliant. Okay, now I've got horseback riding. Now here come the horses. We're gonna just flood Constantinople with a ton of a siege of horses. Oh, researcher. Finally, God, that Pingala upgrade was well needed. I've got six population, so that gives me another six science per turn. That's a 20% boost in my cities. Just using some of my gold as well, just to purchase in a bunch of void singer obelisks. These things again, they're pretty useful. They're just getting me a little bit of extra culture. Admittedly, that's a good thing, but equally it's the thief per turn that I quite like. Up to 50 culture. I'm actually culture game is pretty strong, which is surprising. I'm doing that wonderful thing where I'm stopping Rome from attacking just by putting my units in the way. I'm not at war with them, so they can't move through my units. Oh well, yes they can actually, they can move the Legion through. But at least it's it's limiting them to one per turn, so there you go, Mittler has an opportunity to attack it. That's good. Just pick up engineering quickly and then apprenticeship is the next step for me. That's pretty cool. Do I want to make friends with England? They're right on my borders and they've got a lot of science. So there's a lot of expansion territory there. Australia is the one I don't mind making friends with because I've got no idea where they are. But, I mean, this could be, this could be cool. What about um, a Basel formal war? Yes. Yes, okay. So they're up for that. That's exciting. Yeah, go on then. We'll do it. I'll take open borders with you at the same time, Australia. Wonderful. I'm just going to let... Yeah, I'm going to let Vicky's friendship run out. I, I feel like England has got a lot of a lot of tea. Or at least a lot of empire I can steal from them. Rome is going to be more of a wedge. These guys have got pretty strong cities and, and legions everywhere. But as I say, Byzantium is just an open target for me right now. So let's just quickly move my units in. 
uh, and have some fun killing their heavy chariots. First unit. Oh, not quite killed. Okay, but look, here comes the army. Hehehehe. <laughs> the Aztecs are getting ready. Plus, my libraries are beginning to pop up now, which is even better. I'm going to start getting a few builders in. Uh, limes is a good option, but I do need to. I'm just going to flick that around quickly and just like get theology quickly. I'd like to be able to get builders with extra charges. Uh, I mean, I can start to use monumentality to, to get that one up. Hang on. Oh, just one turn left. Oh, hang on. Oh, that was close. I need four era score. Okay, right. Let's think about this quickly before we before we charge off because I, I ugh, golden age is essential. I need a golden age. So I haven't got a galley. But equally, I haven't actually researched sailing, which is a problem. Um, oh, dear. Oh. What have I done? Oh, I've cocked this up massively. The cheapest great person I could buy would be about 2,000 gold more than I've got. I don't have enough faith to do that either. I could recruit back the twins. The term before I wanted them, admittedly. But that would just annoy the hell out of me if I did that one. Emergencies, no. Rival cities, world wonders completed. I haven't done any world wonders at all. Oh no. I haven't been building in industries, actually. That's something that's a bit of an oversight. Um, I need to keep an eye on that one. Is that not giving me that as an option? No. I'd need to undo the improvements on things. You know what? I actually think I've mucked this up. I can't get a golden edge. And that is a proper annoyance. Never. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's, oh, that's so frustrating. I'm disappointed with myself. You know? Just with myself here. Rubbish. Oh well. We'll have to take the normal era and just swallow that long. bitter pill. Now let's just double check. Is any of my cities now going to have negative loyalty? This one minus seven. Okay, uh, this one's minus one. Okay, right, so we do have some negative loyalty on a couple of my cities here. We're going to have to keep an eye on that one. Oh, how frustrating. You know what? I deserved that. I deserved that. That was my fault. And I've got nobody to blame except myself. Yet, I will find an, any excuse I can to blame someone else. <laughs> is this is the Ryan way. Well, at any rate, now I can get the swings back, which is awesome. These guys are 54 melee strength, which is pretty damn good. I'm just going to move you to the front line in Constantinople. I think we might go after Brazil next, but we'll, we'll see how we feel. We're going to vote to condemn Catholicism, and I'd like 50% off the cost of producing units with production. We'll see if either of those work. Uh, yeah, production, cool. So you can actually so produce a lot of units now. That's pretty damn good. Okay, limes, get out of here. Serfdom, you are up. The feudal contract is cool. Conscription's even cooler. I think those are the ones I'm going to stick on for now. Tusa gives me a little bit more science. There we go. Lovely stuff. Ah, yes, good. Good. I'm just seeing, can I get round this way? There's this annoying sea that stopped my scout from going through and meeting new people. Oh my word, I've just met a huge amount of people, which means an emergency has just gone through. So that's Bolivar, the Congo. I mean, I, there's no need for me to list these people off, really. Because honestly, you know that every single Sif is in the game, because that's the whole point. It's a 50-player map. Ugh. Never mind. I'm just, I'm just enjoying meeting everybody. Canada. Oh, actually, I might be able to sell some stuff to Canada before they hate me. Okay, so an emergency went through somewhere. I don't know where the emergency went through or what it was about. But we've actually got some opportunities to do some trading on this turn before people start to hate us. Ah, I say that, but I'm not actually going to be able to get any favour with anybody. Norway, though, will give me 31 gold per turn and 81 up front to go to war with Rome, which is a really good idea because Rome are just next door and I was thinking about going in that direction. Anyway, I have just realised, however, they have crossbows, so maybe that was a bad idea. But, you know, we can retreat for now and um, and just let them attack me. Yeah, look, Byzantium have crossbows now. I just, I swear, anybody that I attack will just instinctually know to build crossbows immediately. Like, it's just a thing. Very odd. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, not quite, but next turn should be good. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, The Broccoli, Midnight Oil, and Truffadaskby for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you everybody for all of your support generally. It is brilliant. See you in my next video.